Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. I am the iTunes fanboy and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 through 6.1.6 obviously untethered using a Mac. So right here I have this iPhone 4 and this iPod Touch 4. Now this iPod Touch 4 you know, is already jailbroken as you can tell. And uh, hang on, let me change the brightness. That was falling, there we go. And as you can tell, if we go into, as you can tell right here, this one run, this iPod run 6.1.6, and this iPhone that we're about to, I'm about to do right this tutorial is running 6.1.3. So now I've gotten that. So this will be the phone that I'll be job working, as I already said. I don't know why I said that, but now obviously your first requirement is that you must have any iOS device running iOS 6.1.3 6.1.6. And the tool when you actually do download it will say it only works up to six dot from six dot one dot three to six dot one dot five. That is incorrect. It works just fine on six dot one dot six. And you must have a Mac running at least Mac OS ten dot fourteen Mojave. I've tested this on Mojave. It works. I and I tested this on Catalina. It also worked. I haven't tested it on Big Sur or Monterey yet, though it supposedly works. Though. If you're on macOS Vontorey or Ventura, don't be surprised if it doesn't work because those two macOS, at least Monterey especially, has destroyed a lot of the ability that makes a lot of these jailbreak tools possible. So if it doesn't work for you, that could be a reason why. And another big issue known factor is that the original download link that I put in my older tutorial that I did about this when it first came out back in March 2021, uh, that thing, the original download link has since been removed, so I have, you have to download this from this archive, obviously, do the zip version, do not, do not do the torrent version, and so, without further ado, and the last and most notable things are obviously don't use your main computer. You need this third, a third pin cable. Don't use your main computer for this because it could have some security issues. And also, and if anything goes wrong, you don't want to mess up your main computer. And I would I doubt that these would be your main devices anymore. And if you have any issues during this tutorial, Please, please wait until the end of the video before commenting saying what issue you're having because I will probably explain a solution by the end of the video. And one common issue that you run into is that you're going to get a lot of security pop-ups. So what you need to do is go into your, especially if you're on Catalina or higher, or Monitor, Mojave, you won't get that many. So what you need to do is you just need to hit approve on everything and you'll have to rerun the process several times. I've already downloaded it and this is such and so just note that you're going to have to restart this process several times before it gets approved so now we've gotten all that stuff out of the way let's get to the actual jailbreak so first things first obviously plug in your iPhone to your Mac then I'll plug in and then so once you've got that situated it's detected obviously on a computer because it's charging and so now let's actually get the tool started so I won't go into finder go into where you just download it it'll say poise expone 6.1.6 test and then wait there's only one document file that you want to focus on here poise expone tool and as you can tell, it opened for me immediately. It will not for you. So keep settings open. Go into security and privacy and just hit approve on everything several times. And once you've gotten that closed, do not close terminal. And as you can tell, this tool is, once you get it open, it's very simple to use. Just click jailbreak. As you can tell, it detects the phone. And you can see all the stuff that's going on. And something cool is that it does have to, you make, need to make sure you have an internet connection on your Mac because it will get some files from Apple. And now as you can tell, it thinks it's doing the backup, even though it's not just rebooted, restore successful. 
you're getting the old swap logo again, as you can tell it has a slice. Also, this little tool that says X with XZIC, XZIC, however you pronounce that, that's prison break, do not close that either, that's part of this tool. Another thing to note that I guess I should say while we're waiting for this is that I will have a Windows tutorial coming for this on Monday, on no, Friday. Windows tutorial is coming on Friday. So if you're on Win So if you're on Windows, you'll finally get a tutorial. And as you can tell it says waiting for device and poise exponent and terminal. It's just doing a bunch of stuff. As you can tell now it's remounting the root. I know this is going to be kind of obvious because the tool says this, but please make sure to make a backup of your old device before proceeding, just so that way, in case you have any data on it, or any essential data, I should say, then you can get, then you will be able to easily recover it. And now your device is jailbroken. And so it's going to reboot. And so we just got to wait for this reboot. Now you can close out of all this stuff. You don't need any of this anymore. Unplug your phone from your computer, iPod or iPad from your computer. Sometimes I'll have to click the home button if it shuts off, apparently. It could just be a thing. I look at the time I did it. It's got a lot of that stuff out of the way. See that? Waiting, 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 still waiting. Still got that nice shiny Apple logo. Now I'm actually getting a bit concerned because whilst I know the jailbreak is setting up, it is taking suspiciously long. And if yours this iPhone 4 is thinner than the iPhone 13 Pro. Hmm. got myself into and I think I know what the end result will be but in my defense the tool did say to do it on a fresh restore because this is an iPhone 4 CDMA I didn't exactly do that oh no never mind never mind about that it's got a progress bar Never mind about that, okay? It didn't do this when I was jailbreaking my iPod Touch 4. It could just be a weird thing with the iPhone 4. And yes. Well... Okay, first of all, you need to hear those unlocking sounds. 
And now, as you can tell, we have Cydia successfully on the home screen, which is not there before. Oh, wait a second. You are not done yet. There's still one thing you have to do. So, in Safari for... Or, no, on Safari. When you're doing anything in internet related on any devices running iOS 5 through 10, a certificate expired back in October of 2021 that broke a lot of websites and such. And it will ha you'll experience a lot of issues in Cydia. And so my best recommendation is to go onto this website, cdinvoxyplaygames.uk slash certificates and hit go. Okay. But as you can tell now, City is preparing itself, and now you can just do normal City stuff, and now you're officially jailbroken. Thank you all for watching this YouTube video. If this video worked for you, please comment that down below, so that way if people are watching this tutorial years from now, they'll still know that, hey, this works. And also, please comment down below if it didn't work and I didn't give you any solutions in this video. And so, if I, with all that said and done, thank you all for watching this video. And as always, I am the iTunes fanboy, and peace out.